Hello YouTube, this is Eraser Naga Software for Mac. First you're going to need to download the driver at the Eraser website. The link is going to be in the description box. Anyways, after you install it, um, you're going to go down to your system preferences. It's going to be under other. Uh, click Eraser Naga, obviously. Um, I've got a couple. You can actually change all your buttons and macro them even, like I have there. Macro heroically. So I only have to click one button to jump somewhere. It's awesome. You can also change it to any other button you want on the keyboard. You can change it to delete, shift, control, alt, command, spacebar, anything you want. But I like that button on my hero clip. Either way, next thing I'm gonna show you is the performance. You can change the DPI, which is basically the seven uh, sensitivity, I like mine at 4,700. Obviously, the higher you go, the faster it is. I don't like it the fastest, though. Um, you can even have an acceleration, so you, when you move your mouse at the same rate, your mouse actually goes faster as it keeps going, but I hate that completely, so I don't have that. And then profiles, this basically it saves your current profile that it is now and you can actually change it so like you can have profile one it's like one two three and profile two could be three four five now here is under macros i've got a real clip macro i'm actually going to show you how to make this so i'm going to go ahead and delete this one and i'll just remake it for you it's really easy so first you click the plus button type the name of the macro for me it's real clip and then you click it again, uh, click record, for, you click the buttons you need to click, so for me it's press button 4 and then press the regular click and stop recording. Now there's a delay which is bad, you don't want delays. You have to go up and go to none, you can do this for each and every single one, or you can go down to this little options looking thing, go all the way down and change it to none for all of them, which is the easier way and the better way. Okay, so that's easy. And now you can actually macro it to one of your buttons. So here I'll go here, then go to macros, move over, and hero clip. Now all I have to do is click it, and it rocks. It's the best macro ever. Performance and lightning now. Lighting. Um, this is just very fun stuff. You can change if you want your mouse lighted up or not, and whatsoever. I prefer it lighted up because it looks cool. You can even do it with the Razer logo. Um, you can also scroll down here. If you scroll down, you can get your updates and stuff. And then that's all for it. Actually, I forgot to show you the thumb pad. This is what's on the right of your mouse, which your thumb clicks all these buttons. You can have, as you can see, single keys. Those are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and all those, etc. You can change that. You can change those to anything you really want, like a regular click, uh, right click, any of your mouse buttons, an instant double click, even a macro, or any other key you want on your keyboard, like Shift, Control, or Delete, or any of those. Uh, once you find the one you want, all you have to do is click OK, and then it works. But I prefer mine on five. And you can also do this, this is um, the num option, it's mainly for people who have the extra little thing thingamabobber on their keyboard, where it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and enter 0. Thanks for watching, please rate, comment, and subscribe.